Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. I reset the game after I saved it because I wanted to show you guys this. You restart in front of Lube. Nothing major, just... I actually was asked once when uh, I was first playing this game, when I loaned it out, they're like, how come I don't start over there now? I don't understand. I'm just covering all my bases. I don't think any of are dumb, but... Okay. Full, oh, what's that? Let's go into the next area. I should have probably showed this off earlier, but but there was nothing we could do down there. Let's follow this down, because there's not a, really a whole lot into this area, but it would bring us here. And sometimes when you go up to gates or castles, it actually lets you in without fighting. And this guy looks unique. Soon say. We attacked, uh, Fan Shui, Guan, not Yan Shu. Ah, uh, that ain't cool. Allies didn't send you guys reinforcements and supplies. And you lost. There's a war of attrition. Just double checking everything. And attack. Hojong. He has a lot. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah. They got a preemptive strike on us. We were surprised. Well, let's take a look. 162. He has a pretty decent strength. But very low intellect. He's going to be hit a lot by spells. Just like Lee Su. He has a decent amount of troops. Not that great in strength. And that should be it for magic for me. Okay, 61 ain't bad. Better than what he could currently do. <sighs> Come on. Alright, 134. It hits pretty hard. Yeah, go me Z. Let's see. Yeah, there isn't really much to this fight. One of the things they like to do in this game is uh, when you make it to a, basically a new chapter, like the first battle you'll fight, they'll, whoever it is there will have like much more troops than you normally would. And then you just have to fight them down. And like Huazong, he has pretty decent strength as you saw. He would actually be a pretty decent addition if we get him. But, uh, he will get hit by spells, but I'm not over worried about that. Mm. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop him, not worried about him actually doing any real damage to us. Nope, this is what I'm gonna do. Have them attack and have these guys do it. You could probably do more damage with the uh, Guan Yu and Lu Feng casting the spells. But they do pretty good physical attack as well. And 86 is still respectable. And 86. Alright. Just going all out from here. There's nothing really to it. To this fight. In a little while, in some of the upcoming fights, they actually do get pretty hard. Because you'll run across people that have much more strength than that. Or they'll have much more intellect than we have. Not bad. Let's see. Ben Shui Guan. Yeah, it used to be a Hell Badong Ru. Hula Guan. I think it's supposed to be Hula Gate. Yeah, why didn't you do that? Hey, you have a sword. Yes. Engine. Not bad troops? Okay, strength. Yeah, I'm going to uh, put him in my party. I could keep Muzi and Cheng Dang in, 
but he has a lot more troops. We're coming up with enemies that will know Yeeho. And... Yeah, he could get killed off pretty quickly. So could Mizi, but... Mizi's quick enough for me to heal with. And besides, I got one, two... Alright, I currently have three people in my active party that can cast uh, spells the way I like to. Why would they not get to the front line? Hey, an axe. My pirate is going to be using an axe. Let's see, clear up some space. I think he can only hold eight items at a time, but oh well. Blue Boo. Remember from episode one? He's one of the bad guys. That it showed, it showed up there. Calicat's saying, Ooh, I'm gay. Blue Boo's strong. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to head back to uh, the city, rest up at the end, and I'll meet you right back here outside of this area. Alright? I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Uh, let's see. Going through these. We're probably going to run into some brigands because we're right next to the mountains. But if we continue on west still, we'll run into Hula Gate. But there's a cave here. You can kind of get lost in here, but it's nothing major. But what I plan on doing is searching it for treasure. Because there is actually some pretty good stuff in here. And we will run into people from this area, from Chapter 2. Like, we can run into Lisu and Hua Zhang over here. And we can run into, like, Zheng Mao and Chen Yanzi from the first area. I would recommend passing on them, anyways. Because they're worth more experience and we're not using them, period. Yeah, a lot of editing here. Fighting a lot of battles. I will be saying this live. The battles can be finicky here. You can go like forever like without getting into a fight, or you'll get into three battles in four steps. Alrighty. Now we're at a treasure chest. But what actually is in this chest? Let's find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. I will see you all next time. Have a good day.